I'm Katie with worldmomination.net. Okay, so I had this crazy idea last week to start a group every Tuesday night at 8.30 of women where we could mind meld and come up with real fortified plans to go through with our plans. We all have these great grand scheme ideas, I think. And I know that when I speak with my closest mom friends, they always seem to, too, have these grand ideas of things that they've always wanted to do, or these ideas of better their lives or their families' lives, or, and they never seem to follow through with them. Now, these ideas can be, like, the simplest things, you know? It can just be, you know, self-improvement projects, even home improvement projects that never seem to get followed through. Something else always comes up, and the improvement kind of always gets put on the back burner. And it seems that we're constantly putting ourselves on the back burner for lots of different reasons, From what I see, most of the time, the reason is always something having to do with the family. All the time that's needed as moms and women for other people. That we don't prioritize the time for ourselves. I want to talk just about your big idea. Because everybody's got one. It could be wanting to work from home. Or it could be wanting to make um, some kind of residual income. It could be wanting to start a blog. It could be um, to get your body back. It could be that business idea that you had. It could be selling on Etsy. It could be building a home gym. It can be freaking organizing your linen closet. That thing that you've been nagging to do. And you know what I've realized? I really, it's, there's no thing that's been nagging on you that's too big or too small, you know, because, okay, so really think about what your big idea is, okay, because what I wanted to accomplish this week was for us to choose a big idea. Lots of us have many of them, but to choose one. My big idea is to work from home, well, really work from anywhere, and make a residual income by helping women achieve their their best self. And that's my big idea. To be able to work from anywhere in the country, wherever I am, I can get my job done. And for it to be a lucrative career and a career where I'm also helping women achieve their best self. Now that's a huge, that seems like a big one to me. To me, that seems like, you know, that's, That's a huge goal to obtain. But I found that in the small goals has led me to bigger goals. So what I'm saying to you is even if your goal is smaller, like lose 10 pounds, there's nothing too small. Because in achieving the smaller goals, the bigger ones will show their face. Does that make sense? Okay. Now, what we need to pin down is the time that we are going to dedicate to achieving whatever your big idea was. We don't have to think about how we're going to get there. We don't have to think about the plan that we're going to take. We don't have to think about the action steps. What we have to think about is the time because it's really nice to say, oh, you know, I'll do it in my spare time. I'll do it when I can because there is no such thing as spare time. And there's really no such thing as, oh, I can get that done now because there's always something else to get done. There's always laundry to do. There's always an ass to wipe. There's always, you know, hors d'oeuvres to fix for your boyfriend's football game. Okay? There's always something else to do. Now, speaking of that, I'm going to bring this to a place that maybe you'll appreciate it, maybe you won't, but I'm going to anyway. Men always seem to find the time for the things that they prioritize. Do you realize that or no? Or is it just me? If your boyfriend or your husband... Or just, you know, another couple that you you see, let's say he's a football fan, okay? 
always seems to find the time on Thursdays, Sundays, and Mondays to watch a football game. Think about that. That's three days in the week where you're taking at least an hour for those three days. So that's three hours a week that's being spent on a game that they watch where they know nobody in it and essentially doesn't do a thing for their life. What I'm saying is that they make it a priority. Like, babe, the game's on. Well, you know we can't do that because it's football season. I don't do a thing on Sundays. You guys feeling me here? Okay, so don't feel guilty claiming the time as your own. Claim the time. And don't feel guilty. Our objective is, one, to identify our big idea, right? And two is to pin down the time that you're going to spend. Now, we're going to go over how to how to set a plan, how to make a plan, how to execute a plan, of course, because who doesn't love a to-do list? But the first thing we have to do is, one, choose one big idea, and two, choose the time in which we are going to execute it. Can that happen? So carve out the time and set it specifically, specifically. Say on Mondays from 7 p.m. till 8.30 p.m., I will be working on my big idea. Just be very, very specific. Be very specific. And when anybody says, can you do this for me on this day, you say, nope, I'm sorry, I'm busy. Does that sound hard? It really shouldn't be that hard. I don't know if this was really helpful for anybody. I know that for me, um, it was necessary for me to, to realize these things, what I really wanted in life. And at the moment for me at the time was to lose a shit ton of weight because I felt like a huge blob and it was really depressing me and it was affecting my life and I was pretending like it wasn't, but it really was. So that was number one was to gain control of my physical self, which then helped me to gain control of my mental self, which then led to this bigger idea. So think about what's most important to you to get accomplished right now. Make that your big idea and then carve out the time that you're going to spend dedicated to that big idea and report it, write it down, make it, make it a thing. Oh, let me, let me, let me share with you one way that I was able to carve out the time for myself to spend, um, with my big idea, this might be helpful for somebody, you know, there's tricks to finding time. Um, hiring people to help you is one. I don't know what kind of financial state anybody is in, but being able to, um, to get help with the things that are your responsibilities will really free up your time. Obviously one of them was, um, placing my supermarket order online. It seriously saves me over an hour a week. Over an hour a week is saved because I place my supermarket order online. It's that simple. Place it online and then I go pick it up at the store. Instead of spending the hour in the supermarket shopping, I spend 10 minutes online and then pick it up. It takes me five minutes to pick it up. It's that easy. So right there, I found an hour. You can do the same. The cost for that is minute and the reward is amazing. So that's what I mean. Creative ideas like that to, for you to find the time. What, what, we, what we went over this week was to choose your big idea and to carve out the time for it. Okay? So next week on Tuesday, I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to keep showing up here on Tuesdays at 830. I'm going to keep encouraging everyone to reach for I, I don't I don't want to sound cheesy and say your dreams mm, but seriously it's obtainable big things are obtainable and somehow we talk ourselves out of it a lot and we talk ourselves out of it by using excuses that the world allows us to use like well you're a mom and you know you're really busy and um, you know, lots, lots of times I think that maybe we're comfortable in that role. And if we actually did make the time to break free and try other things, it would be uncomfortable. So we kind of stay there and hide behind those, those excuses. 
like, um, you know, I, I see it a lot with, with moms with like kids with sports and, you know, and, and kids that are really involved in lots of activities. It's, it's always about, well, I don't have the time to do that. I don't have the time to focus on me. I don't have the time to get my degree. I don't have the time to get fit. I don't have the time to go to the gym. I don't have the time to to blog. I don't have the time to build my website. I don't have the time to um, create my Etsy store, even though I'm super talented. I don't have the time to paint anymore. I don't have the time for a lot of things because my kids play 5,000 sports, because my husband really likes to watch football three times a week because um, my mom's sick and I take care of her because uh, I have very needy family members because someone's always wanting a piece of you. These may be very, very real things. Actually, they are. They're very, very real things that are demanding of your time and your attention. But you're never supposed to neglect yourself for those things and you certainly are not supposed to hide behind them as excuses they're not excuses you can say no you can say no i'm sorry i can't do that today find the time chisel out the time make that time in your mind and when people call you on monday at 1 30 and they say can you do that for me you say no because on monday at 1 30s i'm doing me seriously that's the challenge. That's the challenge. Choose a time during the week where you say no, because during that time during the week, you're doing me. You make a date with yourself. And during that date, we are going to pursue the things we've always wanted to pursue. Think of your big idea. Write it down. Write down your big idea. Write down your goal. And choose the time. You know when it is. You know when it is. Don't go to that one practice with your kid. That one practice that takes an hour, somebody else can go drop them off. It's time. It's time. Think about think about that though. S- say you don't drive your kid to one practice and you leave it up to either grandma or auntie or uncle or or you know dad goes and does it that day. Somebody who's able to fill in for 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 you for that one day, that one hour practice. That's just one hour per week that you get to spend with yourself, and you can do that. That is absolutely obtainable without any feeling of guilt. No feelings of guilt there at all whatsoever. So that's the challenge. Choose your goal. Choose your big idea. Write it down, and choose your time. One hour in a week where you say, no, that's me time. Okay. So next Tuesday, we're going to come back and we're going to talk about, um, something else. I'm not sure. I kind of pray about it. And then I, um, I just like to be led as to where I should be talking. So, um, so I'll see you next Tuesday guys. Don't, don't hesitate to like, you know, Facebook message me and stuff and, you know, tell me I'm nuts or tell me you're cool or say I need help or I can't think of any time and I'll help you brainstorm. Totally help you brainstorm and come back next Tuesday. Okay. I love you.